this game ends up going the distance here. Simply the income. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Overgrowth. This is game number two of the Best of Three series. You haven't missed a game. We're jumping in part way. A lot of the games are going on at the moment, and uh, until we get to the quarters and semi-finals, it's a little bit less clear sort of who is going to be where. So we're hopping into any game we can. And spawning in the bottom left-hand position as the Red Zerg play. He's currently up 1-0 in this Best of Three. Representing dead pixels, it's true. with the uh, Assassin's Creed logo there. And his opponent in the top right-hand position as the Blue Zerg representing Team Property. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Zanster. <clears throat> so can Zanster tie up the series here? I mean, in a mirror matchup, it can be an awful, uh, an awful lot trickier sometimes to read your opponent uh, especially, you know, they just play your own race, they know all the scouting paths, they know the kind of little dirty tricks, and a lot of mind games can potentially um, take place. It's a very precise matchup here. And True has started this well. Let's see if uh, let's see if he's able to keep the momentum going and take this series two and zero. Oh. Overlord just going to be chilling out, guys. There's really uh, basically mirror builds at the moment. We've got the hatcheries followed by the spawning pool. No gas from either side just yet. So uh, make sure you go ahead and tweet uh, while you have the time as well. I'm, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that while I'm in game. But uh, make sure you go and check out at Jarasar on Twitter. Let people know the stream is on and that we've got some games going on now as well. And uh, that would be pretty ace indeed. Instantaneous starting of a spore crawler here from True. Herm. Alrighty. I guess that's a thing. We've got the uh, two queens for both sides coming out right now. And he's... Oh! He's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Zanster's going to try to move away to the left-hand side. I think he might actually be able to get away with this, though. But the Sporkle is going to be able to reborrow again. He, he's he's going to get it. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. With the queen popping as well. And that Sporkle is going to spell... It's actually not going to spell a supply block. So it's 26 out of 28 for Zanster. Very annoying. Two more Overlords about to pop. And the Spore Crawler trick uh, being used by True here on Overgrowth to deny that scouting vision. And that means inside the main base, guys... There is no vision right now for Zanster. Uh, he's got this Overlord with ambitions to check out what the natural expansion looks like. But there will be a Spore Crawler here sort of eyeing that up as well. Well, I say that. There won't be because he's actually moving out across the... Ma this is... Wow, I guess this is a thing. He's going to move and try and pick off something on his opponent's creep here. Uh, do we have units behind the... No, we're actually just droning up. So... Well, Overlord is getting pushed back, but I can't see this Spore Crawler doing anything, guys. I'm pretty sure these Zerglings are just going to kill it off. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess that's a thing. I don't remember the last time I've seen this in a game of ZVZ and StarCraft, so let's go ahead and watch it. Unfortunately, the Spore Crawler loses, even though the weight of it could crush all four of these Zerglings instantaneously. It doesn't matter. We have suspended belief in all physics. And as a result, <clears throat> after killing off that Overlord, the Spore Crawler will suicide in the middle of the map. Now, I've got a Roach Warren behind this for True as part of his wall off. A Spine Crawler here just to be a little bit safe. And the layer is now halfway down inside his main base as well. There, you can see it right there. Conversely, we've got the third base going down for Zanster. He has 14 lings in production. He's only halfway through Zergling speed at the moment, but he's going to get that plus one attack upgrade as well. So he's going to have more units out on the map faster. He's going to have a third base faster than his opponent as well. But he's going to be teching up a lot less quickly too. 
and uh, he won't have that roach warrant down. So it's a, a, a little bit of imbalance in this game at the moment. Zanster might have a couple of uh, might have an opportunity for a couple of units to try and create some sort of attack with speed. It looks like that's what he's going to try and do here. You can see he's pulling them in the backs of his base. He doesn't really want True to see this. Is he going to be able to move ahead? Now, I think his target is probably going to be getting the third base to cancel. I think. We'll see. Oh, wow. True, even bringing these queens over and getting the Overlord to dump creep so that they can move here fast and kill off the Overlord as well. True really wants Zanster to see absolutely none of his base, but he's going to be able to see it with a whole bunch of Zerglings. Now, I think... Is this going to be able to force a cancel at the third? There's a lot of roaches here as well. Very, very committal from Zanster. He's at 74 supply versus 82. And here we go. This either works or it fails catastrophically. A lot more Zerglings actually streaming in right now. Uh, good attacks off on the Queens. Great transfuses though. And he's still surrounding all the roaches. Are the sheer numbers going to be able to get the better of True here? It looks like it will. And if he gets this third base as well, that's going to be absolutely mega for our team property Zerg. He's going to be able to surround it. He will be able to kill it off. And he gets away as well. Are these Zerglings going to be able to make their way into the natural Ooh, no he's actually going to live to fight another day and that's fair enough i mean not many of them are going to survive once they get past this choke point you got the spine crawl and other units spawning there as well nice little pickup there from zanster holding those zerglings needing to try something to get back into this game and right now he's ahead 55 to 42 workers and uh well we've got roaches actually from true is he going to try and mount some sort of counter attack to get some more damage done he's actually going for the gold base <clears throat> all right so he's saying, okay, good attack, you cancelled my third, in some ways I'm behind right now, I'm therefore going to take the gold. What are you going to do about it? I'm able to defend it with roaches. Uh, those lings were excellent, but you're going to need something else here if you want to stop me from doing damage to you as well. And that's why we have this roach versus roach battle. Zanster also has the defender's advantage and he is on top of this ramp, so he's able to hold true back for now. And it's 103 versus 87 supply. Uh, the plus one attack for Zanster, though, is melee. It's not actually range. So as far as roaches are concerned, true enjoys a one upgrade advantage right now. Zanster continuing uh, producing roaches non-stop right now. And if we take a look at the numbers here, it's actually 21 versus 19 now in Zanster's favor as well. That's not enough to mount an attack. The defender's advantage is still too great for True. But what Zanster will probably want to do right now is pick off the hatchery at the gold base. If he can kill off the third base a second time, then the fact that he's been mining at this base for so long is going to mean he he just starts snowballing his advantage, basically. That's really what he wants to do. He's now up to 30 roaches versus 19, and this looks like a statement of intent here. He's going to have to attack up the ramp, but he's got the numbers advantage. Uh, up to 31 roaches now for True, but a lot of those roaches aren't actually here with the attack right now. So, uh, temporarily, the numbers advantage is with Zanster, but True's going to be able to resupply faster. A good bit of concave here. Is Zanster going to be able to uh, break this, or is True going to be able to hold on? I think with the spine crawl and the Queen as well, he should be able to hold it, and that is why Zanster is going to be hauling tail right now. He can't quite deal with it. It's 29 versus 22 roaches. Zanster still with the advantage, but the resupply was just in True's favor because of the location of that fight. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him go again, but True is going to have the faster plus two attack as well. And that means it's going to be so much more difficult for Zanster to actually get an attack like this. And Zanster doesn't currently know that True's upgrade is that much faster. Uh, he has no clue, but we do, of course, being in the observer seat. <clears throat> And an overseer is also going to be popping in to check exactly what's going on inside the main base for the first time this game. Won't see too much other than the single Evo chamber there. And notice how there wasn't a second one in the wall. But that's really about it. It's just Roach versus Roach. Uh, so they do believe in this thing called Roach over here, guys. And uh, Contaminate going down on the plus two. Now that's important because True's plus two is finished. And he's already started his plus one armor. So he knows that if he's able to scoot this up for a bit. He might enjoy up to a two upgrade advantage. Thanks to what he has seen with his Overseer. We could see, uh, we could see this guy come back in for a second Contaminate. Once he gets enough energy to do so. But True, now in a comfortable position because it's three base versus three base and one of his bases is gold. Which means he is coming back into this game economically and he's taking his fourth behind this as well. Zanser is also taking his fourth the gold. So it's kind of evening out because while this gold base is being mined, Zanster has had this base up a lot longer. 
But soon, I think True is just going to be comfortably on parity as far as economy is concerned. And then when you look at the big picture, his upgrades are going to give him such a huge advantage when these Roach Balls meet in the middle of the map. That's really going to be really, really key uh, moving on later into this game. <clears throat> is it just me or is the music volume actually really, uh, really, really soft? No, nope, seems to be fine. The music just doesn't want to be playing, and that's okay. I just want to be listening to the sounds of Sweet Sweet Starcraft by the looks of things. Just decided to stop after that song, and that's fine. It's 200, 200, guys. And we have plus two versus plus two, plus one. Don't forget that melee attack does not bear anything on this incoming fight. True is going to be splitting up his roaches. He's waiting for the fight to commence right now. We have a burrow and tunneling claws coming in for Zanster. They're still about 20 to 30 in-game seconds away, and we have got overseers with this army by the looks of things, I think for both players, but I haven't seen True's one yet. And here we go. Big, big engagement. Zanster is going to find it easier to resupply. He's also got actually two spine claws. That's going to help, but True has so many numbers on his side, and he has got that upgrade advantage. Is it going to be enough to break through here, even with the defender's advantage? 34 versus 32 roaches. Actually, True's numbers are starting to decline very, very slightly. Still one spine crawler alive. The Roach numbers are going down more or less evenly for both these players. And I don't think True is going to be able to, uh, to stay in this. He just can't do it. He tried his best. He had the upgrade advantage. But the defender's advantage from Zanster plus the spine crawlers were simply too strong. And now Zanster... Well, he's going to be mining from the gold base. I mean, both players are mining from the gold. But these... Uh, these mineral patches are so much lower right now, and I feel like True may have thrown away his advantage a little bit here. <coughs> because if this game lasts, say, more than another three or four minutes, uh, where these mineral patches start to die out, then we're in a situation where Zanster's income is going to be so much higher than True's, and True is currently at 30 supply behind Zanster. Uh, so Zanster, well, he needs to catch up in terms of upgrades. He has started his plus one carapace. It's still going to take forever and a day to actually get that in there. And he's moving out now, again, with a massive Roach v. Roach attack. Now it's 2-0 versus 2-1, and True has the defender's advantage. I'm not sure... Uh, he can necessarily break through, but we've got a small Roach hit squad moving in towards the natural. This is exactly the kind of thing he wants to go for here. He's blocking up this bit, and he's trying to bait the rest of the army to come back and defend, because what he wants to be able to do is move in and take out that gold base. This army is lurking with intent, and True knows it, but this hit squad's actually doing a tremendous job right now. Oh, and a great job with the burrow and burrow movement as well. The Overseer is going to come into the base. He's possibly going to look behind the mineral line. No, he's actually moving away. Oopsie daisy. And he's going to be able to do a lot of damage inside the mineral line here as well. The Overseer has moved and uh, Zanster trying to do something aggressive here. But this hit squad is actually doing so, so much damage right now. 42 workers now he's down to. And it looks like these roaches are simply going to have to engage. 2-1 versus 2-0. The Overseer is there. And here comes the rest of the army. I'm not sure this is going to be an engagement. He might be able to win. He's still behind. And that's... Uh, this plus one carapace is going to take a while to actually come through. So Zanster maybe not taking the best engagement for himself there as well. Number of roaches currently 35 versus 55 in favor of True. And he's actually getting annihilated in the main fight. I love the idea of the roach hit squad. But I don't think this main fight was one he needed to take at all. And all of a sudden True looks like he's in a position to mount an incredible counterattack. I think that might have been a decision that could change the outcome of this game for Zanster if True gets aggressive right now. Lots of drones went down in the main base. Great. Lair, still there. Fine. 16 workers killed. But where's your answer to this? I mean, okay, three spine crawlers tends to be pretty good right now, but I'm wondering if the gold base can actually get taken out by these roaches. Uh, 194 versus 183 supply. The upgrades are now even at least, but True had so many more roaches. It's still 68 versus 53. I think he can take out a couple of spine crawlers with that. Is it enough to also surpass the defender's advantage? Oh, tough call. Maybe not. But, uh, well, right now... The income for Zanster, yes, is higher than that of True. So, uh, I feel like True's window for a potential counterattack where he has the uh, population advantage over Zanster as well is now closing. And while this has to be the non-sneakiest Jaws movement I think I've ever seen, I can't actually see from his vision right now, but that's a massive bunch of trails. You might actually be able to comfortably see that uh, without Overseer vision as well. I'll show you what I mean 
when these guys start moving up towards the gold base. Oh, never mind. It looks like they're going to be going by land instead. So two simultaneous attacks here. We have defending uh, roaches from Zanser trying to chase this army down. In the meantime, this gold base getting absolutely annihilated. This hatch can go down if Zanser chooses to focus it down. He's not going to be doing that, though. He's moving a bunch of those roaches towards the third base. He only wants to kill workers at this point. He has to be so careful. I'm not sure he can afford to do that. If he gets these roaches surrounded, it could be curtains for him. And uh, we just need to make sure we don't take engagements, uh, basically, that are unfavorable right now. And he's getting a pretty good engagement out in the middle of the map. But simultaneously, Zanster is going to try and take apart this third base as well. Kills the queen here as well. Is he going to focus down the hatch? No, he's just going to try and trade for as many roaches as he can. True now coming in with the cat. Oh my god, that's a lot of spine crawlers. I think he might be able to make a stand here. Doing an awful lot of DPS with those. And True's going to have to respect the amount of damage those are being doing. But he's slowly taking this out. It's 189 versus 175 supply. But the supply for Zanster is very very spread out right now and this gold base is actually going to give so true getting a foothold in this position he's 20 supply down but the roaches for Zanser simply aren't in one place we have some in the third base location he might be able to take this hatchery out as well we have some in the gold they're actually burrowed here both players doing a lot of damage to each other but the gold hatchery for Zanster is now gone and true's coming in to try and kill things off he's got a spine crawler in defense to Zanster here and a good number of roaches coming in from front and behind number of roaches in total 48 to 52 but remember not all of them are here at the moment for Zanser it looks like True's gonna have to move back but no he's got a second wave of roaches coming in here three overseers just in case any sort of burrow Michael comes in trying to be cheeky and we're trying to get as good an engagement as possible drones are being pulled to help with this attack now as well Zanster reeling True down to 86 supply if this army dies I think True loses the game. So Zanster needs to hold on. He's holding on by the skin of his teeth. And I think he's just about done it. This gold base is going down. This third base has gone down. There's a Roach hit squad attacking these evolution chambers as well. And Zanster enjoys a 60 supply advantage over True. He needs to clean this up. GG. He's done it. Zanster's even the series up. And we're going into a game number three, ladies and gents. We didn't see game number one. But how right we were to hop in part way.